Recently, Canva has fully revamped their platform and now offer many new AI tools that we can utilize to create t-shirt designs. With these easy to use AI tools, you no longer need design experience to create professional quality designs, and you don't have to spend a ton of time searching around for the perfect graphics to use. Simply describe the design you want using a text prompt and watch as Canva AI brings your idea to life. From brainstorming design ideas to generating eye-catching graphics and text, I'll show you how to use Canva AI tools to take your t-shirt designs to the next level. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to design t-shirts with AI. But before we get started, if you don't have access to Canva's tools and features yet, go ahead and scan the QR code here or click the link in the video description to access your free trial of Canva Pro. With Canva Pro, you can access all of Canva's t-shirt design templates, all the graphics and fonts in the Canva library, all of Canva's new innovative AI tools, and tons more. So if you're ready to create professional designs, go ahead and scan the QR code here or click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. So once you get to the Canva homepage, the first thing we're going to do is open up a blank t-shirt design template. To do this, let's go over to the right hand side here and click the three dots icon. This will open up a menu displaying all the different design templates on Canva. At the top here, let's type in t-shirt. Various t-shirt templates should now be displayed in your results. For this example, let's just click the first one here. And this should open up a blank t-shirt template where we can create our t-shirt design. Let's close the print with Canva menu on the right hand side here. So to create t-shirt designs with AI, the first thing we'll need to do is come up with some t-shirt design ideas. Instead of spending a ton of time trying to brainstorm t-shirt design ideas for our niche, let's go over how to have AI come up with ideas for us. To use AI to come up with t-shirt design ideas, let's start by going to the text tab on the left hand side menu here. This should open up a menu with various text options. At the top, you should see a button that says Magic Write. If we click this, it'll open up a text field where we can use the Magic Write AI tool. So let's say I have an online brand in the fitness niche and I want to come up with some t-shirt design ideas to add to my print on demand store. So to have AI generate my t-shirt design ideas, I'm going to type in, give me some cool t-shirt design ideas for the workout slash fitness niche. And once you finish adding your text prompt, go ahead and click the blue generate button at the bottom right. And almost instantly, Magic Write will generate several t-shirt design ideas for your niche. Each design idea is very detailed and includes things like the graphics to use, the text, the colors, and more. So for my fitness and workout niche, it looks like it generated seven different ideas here. Feel free to pause the video and read over the various design ideas, but for my t-shirt design, I think I'm going to go with this animal inspiration idea. This one says to draw inspiration from the animal kingdom with designs that feature animals known for their strength or agility, like lions lifting weights or a cheetah sprinting to convey power and speed. I think that will make a pretty cool t-shirt design. So now that I have my t-shirt design idea, the next thing we're going to go over is how to use AI to generate a graphic for our t-shirt design. If you're not a professional designer, generating graphics with AI will come in super handy. So to generate graphics with AI on Canva, let's go to the menu on the left hand side here and go down to the magic media icon. Here's where we can generate images, graphics, and videos using AI. So since I'm creating a t-shirt design, let's click the graphics tab. And here's where we can easily generate graphics with AI by simply describing what we want. For my animal inspiration design, it mentioned the lion lifting weights, and I think that sounds perfect. So for my text prompt, I'm gonna keep things simple and simply type in muscular lion lifting weights. But when writing your text prompt, Feel free to be as detailed as needed to get the perfect graphic. Also, if you like, you can use the styles button here to select a specific style for your graphic. As you can see, there are tons of different styles you can select from depending on the type of design you're creating. For t-shirt designs, two of my favorites are sticker and hand drawn. But for this example, I'm just gonna leave it blank and see what the AI comes up with. So now that I've entered my text prompt for my weightlifting lion graphic, let's go down to the bottom here and click the Generate Graphics button. The Magic Media AI should then analyze my text prompt and start generating my graphics. This may take a few moments, but once it's finished, you'll have several different graphics that you can select from. Wow, I think these all look pretty cool. Out of these four, my favorite is the one at the top right, but I still think it can be a bit better. So let's click the three dots icon at the top right of the graphic, and then click the Generate More Like This option to generate similar graphics. Magic Media will then get back to work, and after a few moments, you should have new graphics that's similar to the first graphic you selected. Feel free to do this as many times as you need, 
But for this example, I like the lion at the bottom right here. He looks like he's lifting heavier weights, so he must be stronger. So to select a graphic, simply click it to add it to your template. And there we go. And once you add your graphic to your template, feel free to resize it and move it around as needed. But when adjusting your graphic, make sure you stay inside the print area. Any part of your graphic outside the print area won't be visible. The print area is basically a vertical rectangle, so make sure you keep all your elements inside it. And there we go. So here's my graphic for my animal inspiration design. And now that I've added my graphic, the next thing I want to do with my t-shirt design is add some text. So instead of trying to come up with some witty or funny sayings on my own, let's use AI to come up with some ideas. So to use AI to generate text ideas for my t-shirt design, let's go back to Magic Write. I can now simply enter a text prompt to have Magic Write come up with some text ideas. When writing your text prompt, try to talk to AI like you're talking to your own personal designer. So for my prompt, I'm going to type in, I'm making a t-shirt design that features an image of a muscular lion lifting weights. Provide some text ideas that would fit this design. And after telling Magic Write AI what you want, go ahead and click the blue generate button. And within a matter of seconds, I now have 10 text ideas for my t-shirt design. We have Unleash the Beast Within, Roar with Strength, King of the Gym, Fierce Power, Lionhearted Gains, and more. Any of these would go great with my weightlifting lion graphic. But for this example, I think I'm going to go with the first one, Unleash the Beast Within. So now that I have a good slogan to add to my design, let's go back to my template here and add my text. To add new text to your template, start by going to the text tab from the menu on the left hand side. From here, let's go up to the top and click the add a text box button. And a new text box has been added to my template. Let's use the text toolbar up top here to make my text bigger and change the color. And to add my slogan, let's simply select the text and type it in. For my first text element, I'm just going to have it simply say the word unleash. I'm also going to move it to the top and drag the corners to make it a bit bigger. There we go. And using the text toolbar up top, feel free to adjust your text by adding effects, making it bold or italic, adjusting the size, or by changing the font. If you click the font tab, you'll see the font menu open up on the left hand side. Here's where you can browse through tons of different fonts that you can use with your text. When selecting a font, Try to find one that best matches your design style and vibe. For my font, I think I'm just going to go with Poppins Black. And there we go. I think this gives my text a nice strong bold look. And as you're designing, feel free to move things around and make any other adjustments as needed. And to add the rest of my text, let's select this text element here and click the duplicate button from the toolbar up top. And my text has been duplicated. This is a great way to add a new text element while retaining the same fonts, size, and other changes. I'm going to add my second text element to the bottom and change the text to say the beast. The AI suggested slogan said unleash the beast within, but for my design, I think unleash the beast will do. And actually, let's duplicate this and make the and beast two different text elements. I want to have beast at the bottom and the right above it. I can now arrange all the elements on my template and get everything exactly the way I want it. And to add a little flavor, let's change my the text element to red and also select a different font. There we go. I think my design is starting to come together. So we've gone over how to use AI to generate our graphics and text. Now let's go over how to use AI to enhance your text even further with Magic Morph. Magic Morph is a really cool AI tool that allows us to transform our text in unique ways using text prompts. So to access Magic Morph, let's go to the Apps tab from the menu on the left hand side. From here, let's go up to the search bar up top and type in Magic Morph. And from your results, Magic Morph should be the first icon. Let's click it to open it up. And here's the Magic Morph menu where we can transform our text with AI. Since I currently have my Beast text selected, we should see it in the top box here. This is the element I'll be transforming with Magic Morph. So to transform your text, you can simply type in whatever you want to transform it to in the text box here. For my beast text on my weightlifting lion design, let's see if we can change it to concrete. For a weightlifting design, I think that should work well. And if you like, you can try out some of the examples at the bottom here if you wanted to test out some different styles. But once you enter your text prompt, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the blue magic morph button. AI will then analyze your text prompt and start transforming your element. This may take a few moments, but once it's finished, you'll have several examples to choose from. All of these are different examples of my beast text changed to concrete. 
Feel free to look over the various examples and select the one that you like best. When you select the one you like, it'll be added to your template where you can resize and rearrange it as needed. I'm simply going to replace my old beast text with my new concrete beast text. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm almost finished creating my t-shirt design, but we still need to add the final touches. So next, let's use Canva's tools and elements to finish creating my t-shirt design. So first, let's select my top text here. When you select an element, you should see the toolbar appear up top. Another cool way you can enhance your text on Canva is by using the effects tab. If we click this, you'll see the effects menu open up on the left hand side. Here's where you can add all sorts of effects to your text, such as a shadow, a hollow effect, an outline, a glitch effect, and more. Since I'm using white text on my design, I'm going to add a black shadow just in case I want to add it to a white shirt. This will make sure my text is visible no matter what color shirt I add it to. The outline effect works great for this as well. Also from the effects menu, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom to the shape section, you can add a curve to your text. Using the slider bar underneath here, you can easily curve your text down or curve it up. For my text, I think I'll curve it down slightly above my lion. There we go. And after you add your effects, you may need to rearrange your elements a bit. There we go. So I think I'm done editing the text for my design. So now let's finish things up by adding some supporting graphics. To browse through various shapes and graphics to use with your design, go ahead and click the Elements tab from the menu on the left hand side. Here's where you can browse the Canva library for pretty much any element that you need to add to your design. For my Unleash the Beast design here, I think I'll add some claw marks. And I'm only looking for graphics, so let's click to see all the graphics. And as you can see, no matter what you search for, the Canva library will likely have tons of different graphics that you can browse through. And when you find a graphic that you like, Simply click it to add it to your template. And of course, you can then resize and rearrange the graphic as needed. For my design, I think I'll add claw marks to both sides of my lion. And that should give it the rugged Unleash the Beast style that I'm looking for. So finally, I think I'm done creating the t-shirt design for my fitness niche. So once you're finished creating your t-shirt design, you can then download it or even order t-shirts directly from Canva. So to download the design to add to the products in my print on demand store, Let's go up to the share button at the top right. From the share menu, go ahead and click the download icon at the bottom. And here's where you can select your download settings. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected. This will allow you to adjust the size of your design and download it with a transparent background. And using the size slider bar here, try to increase your design size to at least 5,000 pixels. This will ensure your design details are crisp on the t-shirt. Also, you want to select the transparent background option here so your design is downloaded with transparency and doesn't have a colored square behind it. But to adjust your design size and download it with the transparent background, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So once you finish selecting your download settings, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the download button. And your new t-shirt design will be downloaded to your device. I can now take my new Unleash the Beast design and add it to the products in my print on demand store. Also, if you wanted to order t-shirts directly from Canva, you could use the Print with Canva button at the top here. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can select your order settings. At the top here, you can even see several mock-ups that feature your design. And this is a great way to see how your design will look before you place your order. When checking out the mock-ups, feel free to make any changes if needed. But if everything looks good, you can use the next sections here to select your fit type, your shirt color, and your shirt size. And using the next drop down menu here, you can select how many t-shirts you want to order. It costs $25 for one t-shirt and you can get a discount if you order in bulk. And also on Canva, you also get free delivery so you don't have to worry about a shipping charge. So once you're done with your order details, you can then click continue to finish up the checkout process. And after maybe a week or two, your new t-shirt should arrive at your doorstep. So as you can see, using the innovative AI tools on Canva, Anyone can create high quality, professional designs with ease. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.